Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is a tennis sharp rally, uh, basically talking about an update on Dhaka today. Uh, as you can see on the screen, Attorney General from 15 state uh, DC sued to save Dhaka. Dhaka is the, dis uh, the deferred action for childhood arrival, the famous uh, Obama executive order that helped a lot of children who have undocumented parents who came to the United States before they turned 16 and meeting other requirements to get a work permit. DACA was never intended to give a green card. It was just basically to give a chance to all those innocent children who came to the United States. And now with the announcement from USCIS and Attorney Jeff Session that they will be taking DACA away, a bunch of states including New York, Massachusetts, Washington, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Illinois, Iowa, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Virginia, uh, with um, the District of Columbia, are actually suing to to change that, uh, to not uh, to basically block the termination of DACA. Okay, one of the arguments that they are making is the fact that the information that will be uh, that was given by those uh, students or those young people to get DACA were actually, are actually now going to be used to hurt them. And um, today, uh, yesterday also, we had this frequently asked question uh, issued by the USCIS basically talking about DACA. And if you look at it, there are a bunch of, a uh, lot of mumbo jumbo there, but then there are a few things that are really kind of a little bit um, uh, disturbing. If you look at it here, it says, answer A. Will USCIS question it? Will USCIS use personal individ uh, information of individuals whose pending requests are denied proactively with eyes for enforcement purposes? Okay. And the same thing here, question seven. Okay. Uh, will they use, basically, will they use the information that was provided to them to go after the people who applied for DACA? Well, they say no, but they put pretty much here a closed. They will not use it, uh, if you read it here, for the purpose of immigration enforcement. However, if that person pose a risk of national security or public safety, they can uh, issue a notice to appear based on that. Okay, this is where it becomes really tricky because um, from my experience practicing as a lawyer now for almost going on 15 years soon, um, Anything can be considered national security, and we have seen this under COP, and we see many cases getting stuck, basically, uh, when you ask the government, say, background check, national security, or public safety. So it's easy to kind of abuse this and end up by using all the information. That's where it becomes a little bit tricky. Apart from that, everything else is, well, although it's, uh, it's very sad, uh, they tried their best to be fair, but... Um, I, I, as you know, they have all those rules that some people who already have their DACA will not be DACA will not be taken away from them. For those who wants to renew it and it's expiring as uh, until if it expires up to uh, I think May fi, um, uh, May fifth two thousand uh, March fifth two thousand eighteen, you can renew it. You will have up to October fifth two thousand seventeen to do that. And of course, uh, it's kind of sad, but at the same time, we knew it was coming. We just have to deal with it now. So I will keep you updated as we go. I posted on our website, Pirali Law here, um, uh, uh, the details of, of, of you will have up-to-date breaking information, but also subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will try our best to bring you new information on immigration, not only on DACA, but on other issues. I thank you for listening and anything I'm telling you today is my opinion. You should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided. You should contact an attorney if you have any questions. If you, uh, you can contact our office, of course, at 510-742-5887. Thank you.